Whenever you look to sell anything, the very first thing you need to know is how much it's worth. If you're looking to sell a car, you're probably going to log on to one of the car networks and punch in your VIN or description of your car. You're going to get an idea of what it's worth. From that point, you're either going to look to get a little bit more or sell it faster and offer it for a little bit less. But the key point is you're going to know what it's worth. Same thing with the house. When you look to sell a house, a lot of people will call up a local realtor or maybe even as simple as logging on one of the for sale websites with some types of estimate that is also computer generator, but it'll give you an idea of what that house is worth. From that point, just like the car, you can try to sell it for more. It might not sell or it might take longer to sell or you sell it for a little bit less and it sells quicker. The point of the video is no matter what you try to sell, the very first thing that you want to do is get an idea of what it's worth. Will it be an exact science? No, because there's so many market variables that will go into it of what the final sale price will be. But one thing that is for certain is you'll have a good idea of the range of what something's worth before you actually offer it for sale. I mean, let's face it. If you sold something for $100,000 and then later you found out it was worth a million dollars, it wouldn't feel so great now, would it? And on the same token, on the flip side, let's say you offered something at $10 million and you're wondering why nobody's calling you and maybe it's because it's only worth $2 million. You skip the step of finding out what it's worth. So the very first thing you want to do whenever you look to sell anything is find out what it's worth. This holds true with businesses also. Small businesses are a little bit more tricky because there's more moving parts. But how do you find out what a business is worth? There's not too many places you can go online where you can quickly find out. But one way that you can do it is by ordering a business valuation from a local business broker. Now keep in mind, just like you deal with a local real estate agent when you're selling your local house, if you have a local brick and mortar business, it's normally best to work with a local business broker. They can offer the insight and actually the comparables in the local area that can give you a very good indication of what that business is worth. Sometimes it makes sense to sell the business right away. Other times, knowing the value just allows you to plan for the future, whether that's growth, scale, or possibly exiting the business 5, 10, 15 years down the line. Whatever the case is, it's very important, especially when your small business may be your largest asset that you have, knowing what it's worth. So if you want to know what your business is worth, order a business valuation. You can contact me via DM or just use the link below. Thank you. Have a great day.